What's up, guys? There's a bunch of shit on the table. So not prepared. Actually, I actually had to wait to do this narration. I've been trying to upload my vlog footage to Alex all day. Um, but, and then film the narration because I'm super last minute, but uh, none of my batteries are charged. So <laughs> I've been trying to charge them for the past like two hours. Anyways, uh, some of this footage is like, oh, not just within the last week. Usually I do weekly vlogs, but I got super sick last week and ended up not putting out a vlog. So some of the footage is like two weeks old. Um, anyway, so there's some footage in here of when my brother was in town, we went to the gym together and we videoed each other like two meatheads uh, during our, I think we did back, it was like a back workout. And I am, um, it was actually a really good workout. I'm gonna put the uh, entire workout in the notes um, in the description of the vlog. Uh, so I really love when my brother comes into town. He is legit my best friend. I know a lot of people say that about siblings or parents or whatever, but he is like my best friend. So um, I always love having him here and we're total idiots. They're hard, right? They're weird. I bend my knees though. Master your ass. Huh? Is it McBain? Master your ass. <laughs> Bar form now. <laughs> Chinese. These are mostly made out of Chinese newspapers. <laughs> Look at my giant, giant white quads. Looks pretty cool looking. <laughs> that is neat. You can't really see through here. Got something in there. I guess almost fell through the pants. Wham! <laughs> oh. uh. <laughs> Struggle, struggle. Oh, God. Back and chest workout, doing a little biceps because curls. Sun's out, sun's out. Curls for the girls. Well, that's curls to me. <laughs> uh, so we're heading out and uh, gonna go to work. Clayton is on mom duty. Yeah. <laughs> Mom's big day out. From the pudding duty today. <laughs> also, last weekend I had the opportunity to go on this this weekend of like Viking reenactment. Um, my friend John, uh, who goes by Mechawuff, he's a professional wrestler. I just did a podcast with him, and it it came out um, earlier this week. So. The link is in the description. But anyway, so he invited me to go to this like Viking reenactment. It was like a big ceremony weekend and I like weird cool shit. So I was like, sure, I'll go and just want to see what it's about. And I ended up filming a lot of it. Um, I didn't really get a chance to like interview anybody or um, actually get footage of the actual ceremony because they didn't allow cameras or phones or anything like that. Um, and plus like by the time everything was done with the ceremony, everyone was kind of drunk anyway. so. Um, I'm going to have Alex put in um, some footage or at least a link, I don't know how he's going to do it, but uh, of a video kind of explaining why people get into Viking reenactment, what it's really about, what it means to some people, and it's really cool. Like, I love, it's, I'm not going to lie, it's, it was super weird, but um, I, ma I made friends with, with a, a couple people and I just watched and I, I wasn't known, I wasn't dressed in like the traditional stuff that they wear and like I was just like a normal person. Observing and like everyone was super cool and like just a really and it was people from around the world. So it was a really cool experience 
This is what you've spent years training for. The greatest Vikings that had lived were the Yom's Vikings. They were the only military brotherhood that's known to have existed. This isn't reenactment. This is a fight with weapons, close combat. It's in your face. It's crazy, absolutely crazy. I think that the option to take up the sword and live as a warrior is something that you're called to do. We do it because we love it and we're very connected to each other in that way. You get to hit as hard as you want, and it's brilliant. The only reason why we win is because we are a brotherhood. We stay together, we think like one animal. We're gonna go out there, and we're gonna fight with full power! Crush them! Every man is mortal, but I know one thing that never dies, the glory of the Christ Deed! And last week, I actually released my podcast. I'm not even wearing pants, so I keep wanting to put my leg up, but they're not wearing pants. This is how I conduct business. Uh, I did a... There's, there's, there's footage also of um, some behind-the-scenes stuff of my podcast with Alex, who is my videographer, and he is in a band called Fame on Fire, and we talked. So if you go to uh, last week's podcast for Unglamorous Life, because I have two podcasts now, um... Our, my interview with Alex is on The Unglamorous Life, and Alex and I have been friends for a couple years. We have a really cool story and history, and I like totally interviewed him about his band and like how he became a videographer. He's completely self-taught, he's super artistic, and we work really well together. Uh, so he's Alex is actually in a ton of this vlog, so he always tries to edit himself out, but I'm like, no, Alex, don't you fucking edit yourself out. We could talk about better Um how we started. Back so four years, is it four years? Yeah, we'll talk about the story of how like we met and then um, and then I really want to get into that that will transition into how you had no idea what you're doing and like okay. how you taught yourself friends. Yeah. Um, we saw each other every once in a while. Yeah. Uh, and then fast forward so in all the all this time, um, so you you don't work for us anymore, no. you're doing your own thing. You're working on your music, you're working on your videography, yep. um, and a couple years go by, and then, um, I think, what was it, I saw you the at the Olympia was last it, was year. Was it last year? Yeah. Was that the last year? Yeah, it was last year, yeah. It was, I think Blake called Paul, not uh, another Paul, there's two Pauls in our group, 
who knew a friend who knew another friend and then she was we reached to her the night before and she ended up saying yes and she's like great perfect mind you the night before brian blake and i were building the stripper pole worst idea ever <laughs> brian has no idea how to build anything i was watching I on your insta anything. story yeah, no. on all of y'all's insta stories like um i think like brian was trying to like hammer something and he was yeah. like, doing it wrong yeah. i don't know I don't know, um, but it was funny to see that. And I actually don't think I went and watched the whole video. I need to go it's back and watch crazy it. crazy shit going on the entire time. Um, and then you guys had one. Uh, we did a, um, my strategy officer, Chris Kingman, who I also have a podcast with called The Dirty Work Podcast. My hair's like blowing the wind because I have my fan on, on like ultra high because I sweat when I do these. <laughs> anyway, so we're, we've started, uh, de developed a strategy of creating these videos um, to kind of educate our customers like we're not just a booty scrunch company like why is social body so great like you know explaining the fabric and um, how I've like redesigned them so many times for the perfect fit and how they're so comfortable and all these things like uh, just kind of educating people on the brand and what we're about and the culture of the brand so this has been this like series of videos that we just started so we just we made one a couple weeks ago that was uh, you know what's what makes our leggings so great and then this next one was a men's guide which is basically um chris i had chris in it because i i've he's a part of the company but he and he's also a pod one of my podcast co-hosts so i want people to start being very familiar with him um because i like to be super transparent about how you know how social bodies runs and and stuff like that and my life in general so i wanted him to be like the the clueless guy he didn't have to act. That was the best part. He's just super clueless um, about how to buy like leggings for your girlfriend or your wife or whatever. And it literally took us like three hours to fucking shoot this video because we're all idiots. And I want like that to be what mostly what this vlog is about. And um, because it for me, like I wake up every day and I love what I do, even though I'm super stressed out all the time and I run a company and I right now have some other stuff on my plate, like personal stuff with family and um I have some really big opportunities coming up so the pressure is just immense but um I wake up every day like happy because I love what I do and I love the people that are on my team so like <laughs> the people that were in-house that day when we were shooting the video it was Hallie, Chris, uh, Max, Christina and Ashley who Ashley's my assistant and um we all like could not stop fucking laughing and the video turned out really good but it literally took like two or three hours just to get a, like a 59 second video um so Alex can you put the finished product video in this so people can see all the dumb shit behind the scenes and then like what the actual product video looks like <laughs> I'm so pleased with it no one sent a memo on what to wear. The new celestial body. <laughs> we just, Everyone knows. We're so insane. You have this shirt on? Yeah. I we're don't. so insane. Oh, I don't. I did. Okay. Why aren't you wearing it? We have more. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't find one. I need double XL. <laughs> Wait, is mine double XL? Or yeah. No. Complain <laughs> about me extra. Oh my god. Is this fucking healthy? Can we please leave? Does this stay like that? Hey, wait, what the heck? I literally, I, I just fixed that one though. I no, I fixed it yesterday. Oh. This is my love. Why are there dirty needles? Well, maybe he's in it because I like the idea of hanging out and he's here the whole time. So maybe it's just tighter on me. And then it hangs out. Are you a clueless douchebag? Like this guy? <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Celeste, you're awesome. Perfect. <laughs> Second one's good. We'll take that. Still playing a camera, he's like. <laughs> <laughs> like holding it in makes it ten times worse. It makes it funny. The whole video is just gonna be like. No, it actually makes it really funny. It's <laughs> all of a sudden the fire is like, oh, we're gonna get it. Right. Here's how to get it quick. We gotta go. You guys, I can't fucking work with any of you. <laughs> Alright. Fan, fan. <laughs> My god! <laughs> <laughs> I'm not Sorry, okay, I'll shut up. If you're just as. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you're like winding up a fastball in the face. <laughs> That was bad. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Please be gentle. I don't need a black guy. 
if you're as hopeless as Chris. <laughs> <laughs> Get your sword. Sorry. Keep going. If you are just as... Oh my god. Get it together. If you are just <laughs> Why did you want to... Well, I'm not one of you, so... Maybe after the third, you can, you can walk out frame. We can triple that much in the parking lot, okay? Okay. Don't miss. If you two are just as hopeless as Chris, here's how you get a clue. <laughs> are you a man? Are you clueless in general? Um, but more specifically clueless about buying clothes for your significant other, your wife, your girlfriend, your mom, your crush, your lady friend, well, I'm here to help. Chris, you're a clueless man. The fit, um, what does she normally wear? Leggings. Okay, not really helpful. Does she like uh, high waist or mid-rise? What's the difference? Okay, um, does she prefer full-length leggings, capris or shorts? Yes. So when you're trying to determine the fit, you, it's really easy, you just look at her other clothes uh, and you notice patterns like, okay, does she have more high waist pants or does she wear more mid-rise or low-rise pants? Also, another thing you should look for is, does she wear more full length leggings? Does she wear capris? Capris are three quarter length leggings for those guys that don't know that. And, um, or does she wear shorts? So those are some things to help you just determine the fit, style. Um, does she prefer dark colors over bright bold colors? Okay, um, does she like, does she prefer solids over prints? Solid what? Style? This is actually really easy. Just look at the other stuff that she wears. So, does she wear dark colors? Does she prefer bright, you know, bright patterns or prints? Um, usually it's really easy to figure out someone's preference just by looking at their clothes that they already have, so go through her laundry. Maybe do her laundry for her and figure out what she likes. Size. Um, so what size jeans does she wear? I'm not asking her. Okay, um, what size are her other ladies? I don't know, she's like kind of like you, but like... When determining size, I know this might seem like the hardest part, but it's actually kind of easy. Just look at her other clothes. So to touch on again, like how important it is to have a really positive, uh, open uh, communication and just like a, a, a good vibe in your office, like especially if you're an executive or you're the boss, it's so important to have that like really good morale because it makes people want to go above and beyond for your company. Because so no matter what, no one is ever going to care about your company as much as you do. Like. I know that for a fact. It doesn't hurt my feelings. Like, I love my company. It is an ex extension of me. Um, so that carries out into, like, the vibe that I want in my office and the, the vibe of the people that work with celestial bodies. And it's just, like, it's just, like, it's a good vibe. And it's, um, everybody goes above and beyond. And, like, it's because they care about the brand and the vision and... I, it's just so important to surround yourself with those people, whether it's um, strictly professionally or actually no, like it, it's 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 so good to surround yourself with people like that in your life in general. And then you know if you have negative vibes or or you know something that makes you uncomfortable or or whatever, and you know you you confront it or you just cut those people out of your life, and it makes life a lot easier and a lot more fun, and you get more shit done, and you're more creative, and you're more passionate about what you do. So that is my. I'm, I'm really huge on that, is having good vibes, good vibes only.